What is your advice to overthinkers? A quote that has helped me immeasurably. And it's from a book called um, The Horse, the Boy, the Fox and the Mole. It's a boy and a horse are in the woods. And a boy says to the horse, I can't see a way through. And the horse says, can you see your next step? And the boy says, yeah. And the horse says, then just take that. And it hit me. All of the time, we, we look at the goal, we look at the future, we look at the end game, we look at how long a journey it is and we feel overwhelmed. Instead of that, just go right. I'm not going to worry about that because that will come. With each step, you will get closer to that. So I don't need to worry about how far away it is. All what I need to focus on right now, all I need to focus on right now is my next step. There's two ways to see the world. Some people see the thing that they want and some people see the thing that prevents them from getting the thing that they want. Now fear is going to be a player in your life. But you get to decide how much. You can spend your whole life imagining ghosts, worrying about the pathway to the future, but all there will ever be is what's happening here. There is a mental block you cannot change because you have equated change with pain. Why were you scared in your bed the night before? There's actually no reason to be scared. It only just ruins your day. Your thinking must stop having affairs and must remain loyal to your dream for it to become a reality. You got to have the ability to rise up and push yourself and believe in yourself and make that dream a reality. Evolve your belief system. Change is not pain. See change as growth. Every action you take is because of your beliefs and values. Your values shape your decisions and your decisions shape your life. When you set out for a goal, expect it to happen. Expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can expect that everything you do will come out winning. The law of attraction will bend and shape reality until the outside world looks like what we are seeing in our mind. Wake up from your dream and make your dream a reality. Wake up. What so often happens in life is that things get burned and things go the wrong way. And it's in that moment that you're gonna have to choose your reaction. Trust me, I know where I'm at and I've said it before. A person's character is not judged when they ride the wave of success. When everyone chants their name and you want to be their friend, no. Your character is put to the test when your back is against the wall. There's nothing to get hold of. Because you don't need to get hold of anything. Suffering builds character. Therefore, suffering is good for you. I'm telling you, you will be in a vicious cycle forever. You have to get up. The odds are not against you. You are against you. Your negative mindset is against you. Your self-doubt is against you. Your insecurities are against you. Your fear is against you. So to actually have true freedom, we have to be more responsible for certain things, for ourselves, who we are. Constantly investigating and interrogating our better selves. Dare to be so crazy that you actually think for yourself and form your own opinion, no matter what those around you believe. That is called integrity. I'm telling you, man, you gotta tap into your dream. You gotta tap into what you believe in. Speak into existence anything that you desire to speak into existence, and I know that you can do it, man. Do you believe in yourself? That's all that actually matters. If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. Sometimes action will be needed to better a negative situation. But we need not carry negative energy about the situation. The clearer our minds in challenging situations, the better our response. Next time you are faced with a challenge, 
See if you can gain more control of your feelings in order to handle the situation in the best possible way. So I want you to understand this, you're enough because you were created enough. You're enough because you were created that way. Okay, stop allowing your failures, stop allowing your setbacks, stop allowing all these things to control how you feel about you. That if you don't have the courage to act, sometimes and particularly, if you have something special to do, life will move on you. Either you're going to control your time or your time's going to control you. You've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this, that it's hard. But you've got to say, I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. When you step into your fears and continue to push yourself to go on, something happens for you. You're going to go out and you're going to do you're going to win some days. You've got to understand the purpose of the method. The purpose of the method is to teach you how to believe in yourself. I'm talking about real commitment. Not that cheap stuff, right? Not that counterfeit stuff. Not that if I get what I want stuff. Not that little boy stuff. I'm talking concrete commitment. The commitment that says, can I stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in has left? Outcomes are produced from mindsets. So decide who you want to be and then adopt the thinking patterns and the belief systems that will produce it. All pain, all the sacrifice, all the heartache, all the criticism is always going to be there. But you've got to go through it. You're too strong now. Everything that has happened to you up until this point has made you who you are. And it will continue to mold you into who you will be. You don't know what you don't want. Because you don't know what you want to be because you haven't spent time, real time with yourself. Spend time with yourself. Trust me. And once you find that passion, that purpose, your goals, your purpose, everything will start lining up. And then you'll find the courage to start that journey. The moment you start actually acting on your ideas is the moment your life changes forever. It's the moment where you have access to power that most people never experience in their lifetime. When you are struggling with what to do, who you are, what's your next move, you are in an identity crisis. You are struggling with just who you are. See, you have not discovered who you are. You have to discover who you are in order to move you forward. When your reason is clear and your purpose is clear, that's going to make your drive clear. And that's going to make you execute well because you know where you're going. You know you where you want to be. You understand your purpose and why you're doing something. And that's what's going to help you be successful. Whatever you want it to be, define it. Successful people start with identity and then outcomes and then goal. It's hard to breathe life into a dream when you're choking on excuses, some seek to be discovered. Others grind until they discover themselves. Who do you want to be? If you don't make that decision, the world will make that decision for you. Stop just waking up like an accident. What do you want? And then once you find out what you want, spend the rest of your natural life waking up and going after it.